Hey, what's up? I'm Nilu. Today I'm doing a lipstick declutter. If you've been following my channel for any particular amount of time, even if only the past five seconds, you probably know I have a lipstick problem. So today we're going to stick a band-aid on it instead of getting to the source, which is to stop buying stuff. Behind me <laughs> on this couch are all of my bullet lipsticks. I've separated everything into a bunch of different categories. So I was not planning on doing it like this, but I actually think it's nice because then you can see a visual. Um, let's just start going through some of these. I have Bite Cayenne. This is from last year's um, set, that the holiday set. I actually did a review recently. I'll link it up here and down here comparing last year's Bite Beauty Holiday set with this year's Bite Beauty Holiday set. So if you want to see that, I'll link it up and down. Um, but I love this color. I, I said in that video that I don't really wear the Bite Beauty um, Amuse Bouche formula when the colors are dark because I find that the formula is a little too creamy for me to use. And I prefer the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks in the lighter colors, nude, kind of everyday wearable shades, but I'm still going to keep this one. So I'm actually going to keep all of my Bite lipsticks here because I don't have that many minis. Um, any of minis I have here that I previously had, I probably gave away because I didn't want that color. I have Cayenne, I have Honeycomb. This one's actually my favorite nude, one of my favorite nudes. I did a top five nudes video, but just to, just for reference, it's like a really beautiful beigey, beigey nude. It is a little bit cool, so if I'm not wearing makeup, it doesn't look too fantastic on me. Um, what else? Chai came in the birthday set this year, but I haven't used it yet, so I'm just gonna leave this brand new just in case I decide to give it away to someone. Rhubarb, one of my faves. Again, I did swatch of, uh, swatches of these in that recent video. So these are the only bite lipsticks I'm gonna keep. I see. I have one Nars Audacious lipstick and this is the color Anna and it's freaking gorgeous. Holy smokes. I mean, look at that color. But like the pigmentation of these is just so beautiful. It's just such a gorgeous color. I love this. Love this formula and love these lipsticks. I'm probably gonna wear this to work tomorrow actually. I haven't worn this in a while. Um, so I decluttered this in a previous, in my previous makeup declutter, but somehow it made it back, made its way back into this. Do you hear these dogs barking? Look at that orange. Like I am never going to wear this. So I just need to part with it, but I just can't do it. I just, for some reason, cannot let this go. Um, Ooh, okay. I got to get rid of this. I've had it for so long and I, I wore it once. I've wore it to a future concert. If you like Future, shout out to you. <laughs> I went to see Future last year and that's the last time I, first and last time I ever wore it. I have these two Marc Jacobs nudes, Role Play and Screen Test. Um, role Play I wore today and it's a gorgeous color but it left that nasty like white outline on my lips which I hate. Uh, and then Screen Test is like a really light version of that. Those are these two colors right there. Um, both beautiful and they're mini, so I could probably use them up relatively quickly. I'm going to keep those as well. Okay. This Sephora thing I already decluttered. It's their cream lipstick and some red color. I don't like this. I just have a lot of reds that I like more. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, Ooh, this is one of my favorite nudes of all time. Now, let me just disclaim right now that I don't think I'm going to get rid of many of these bullet lipsticks, but I already know I'm going to get rid of a ton of liquid lipsticks. I can tell this is, um, matte. Stark Naked, this is the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick before it was called Vice. So it, this is a tad old, but one of my favorites. Look at that beige nude. It's just a gorgeous peachy beige nude. Um, it's really hard for my olive skin tone to find nudes that are peachier and beigeier versus like a brown, like everything pulls to brown. So I love that one. This one I also, oh my God, I also decluttered this. <laughs> Um, but it's Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb. Such a beautiful color, but I just find that I have like formulas nowadays that I like better. It, it's a pretty dark cherry color, but I just don't use it enough. This Tarte uh, Beach Babe lipstick, I did the Give Me Some Nude lip. The last Give Me Some Nude lip video I did had this lipstick in it, and it's a beautiful color, but since then I have not touched it. It is a tad bit too light for me. I'm gonna give this to my aunt. Oop, what am I doing? Look at that, it's just a little bit too light. So actually look, screen test is even lighter than that. Hmm, maybe we'll try these on. Okay, I'm gonna try on both screen test and this Tarte lipstick and Beach Babe in a second. 
Ooh, Wander Beauty Dual Lipstick. I got this in an Allure Beauty Box um, haul. I actually did a little unboxing of it. This is a gorgeous, mauve pink. It's the one right there. Sorry about the focus, but it's beautiful, and I've loved layering this with glosses underneath. It's just, it's a gorgeous, mauve purple shade. Love that. Um, okay, I'll move on to a few of my favorite nudes. The Maybelline Daringly Nude Lipstick from their matte line. I don't love Maybelline lipsticks. I find their mattes to be a little bit drying and crumbly. When I go to reapply them, they get all crumbly. Okay, so three of my favorite nudes right here. This top one is the Maybelline Matte in the color Daringly Nude. Also a really nice pretty um, pinky beige nude if you have olive skin tones. It's kind of hard to find drugstore nudes that work for olive skin tones, in my opinion. Um, this middle one is probably my favorite nude lipstick ever, and it's the L'Oreal um, Color Riche lipstick in the color 800 Ferris Nude. I love this one, and it's uh, really, really affordable. It's about five bucks. This bottom one is an iconic color. It's Max Velvet Teddy that I have right here, and I really, really like that one as well. So those are definitely staying. Um, next I have two reds, so this is a nice little comparison, but uh, this one is Ruby Woo by MAC and it's a beautiful, very, very cool toned red. Um, actually a nice dupe for that is the L'Oreal Color Riche um, Matte, Devil's Madvocate Red, Matte the Kit Red is what it's called. Definitely a lot brighter and a lot warmer. I take back my dupe language. It looks a lot brighter and uh, warmer than MAC Ruby Woo. This is super, super cool. This is a brighter red with a little bit more warmth, but I love both of those and great different price point options. This Sephora Rouge, I think it's like the Rouge Bomb SPF something something, but look at that, like you can't even, there's nothing left. It's like truly, it's truly at its uh, final days, but I'm just gonna let this one Peace out. Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl, I know I wasn't like fully convinced. The more I use it, the more I like it. I recently did a, a full review of the Give Me Some More Lips set that uh, I have right here. I'm still doing a giveaway, my giveaway's still open, so if you wanna enter that, um, and I'll link the videos up and down. But it's actually really growing on me. Obviously, I'm not gonna let this one go, I just got it. This Givenchy lipstick, uh, Rouge Interdit, in the color, ooh, it's got like weird numbers, oh. I don't know, but it's Givenchy and it's a beautiful, bright pink. I don't have any colors like this, so definitely gonna keep this. Have I used this before? Yeah, I have. I was gonna say, some age. <coughs> Just had a random cough attack, that was not fun. The, one of the last ones here is Too Faced Drunk Dial. I love, this is like a beautiful purple berry shade for fall, I can speak. Um, really, really gorgeous. Overwhelmingly peachy smell. I mean, like disgustingly peachy, but it works. It's pretty. This is the Matte Moselle lipstick from Rihanna's line. Let's compare that to the Givenchy one. Let's see if they're the same. Man, the Givenchy one has so much. Oh my God, they're like almost the same. Look at that. <gasps> wow. Okay, but the, the Rihanna one is like super duper matte and the, uh, that's the Rihanna one and that is the Givenchy one. Damn, I want to keep both, but I don't use this color enough. Comment below and let me know. Do you? That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. But they're both minis. I just love the how bright this is, but I don't think I've used either of these colors. Let's put these in a maybe pile right now. So I only got rid of four lipsticks in this section, but like I said, I have other lips, like the other sections that I've created. I'm definitely gonna get rid of more there. I think I'm just gonna keep both of these, the Mademoiselle and the Givenchy, because they're both minis, so it's not like I'm really going crazy, but I just wanna try them out a little bit more, so maybe once I use them a little more, I'll have a better idea of how I feel. I'll move on to glosses. I really only own five glosses. Any other glosses that you've seen, I have given away. Um, if they're not here, I, yeah. Just right off the bat, I recently got these, and they give me some more lip set, and I love both, so I'm keeping those. And then um, Buxom Dolly, this was also in the Give Me Some Nude Lip set that I did a video for earlier. And then I have my two MAC glosses. I think I decluttered these earlier, 
and then somehow they end up back in my drawer. This one is gross. It actually smells bad and it looks horrible, so I'm definitely getting rid of that. And then uh, Cultured, I love. It's almost done, so I'm just gonna finish it up. I, I like to layer it over other lipsticks. Next, my lip balms. I have two tinted Sephora lip balms. I love both of these. One is like a nudier color and one is a pinky. This is the Tristique, um mini plumping lip balm lip treatment in broadest berry. I actually really like this. This is the mini size and this was from the give me some new lip set earlier or the end of last year early this year. Love those. I'm gonna keep those. Okay so I went back and actually tried on both of these. This is the Marc Jacobs screen test and then the Tarte Beach Babe lipstick. So let me get a little bit closer so you can see. Uh I'm looking in the viewfinder. They look so similar. Will you please leave a comment and let me know what you think about either of these. In the mirror, this looked way too light, this side right here. Um, so I thought I would give this one away versus like this is a little bit, seems a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. But now I'm just torn and I really don't know what to do. So let me know if you have a preference. I will leave that up to you guys in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna move on to some lip pencils. So these are all, anything, that is in a pencil form, even though they're very similar to bullet lipsticks sometimes. Um, I'll just start off with my two uh, nude sticks pencils, one in Vino and one in Whisper. I put these in my best of Sephora favorites videos because these are both from Sephora favorites sets and I love both of these, so I'm gonna keep those. I got an e.l.f. Uh, lip pencil in T-Rose and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, mauve but one of the only mauves that is actually purpley mauve on me versus like turns into pink so i love that it's a very unique shade for my skin tone um i have three velvet matte lip pencils from nars uh one that was a birthday gift this was a point perk this one's called let's go crazy and then do me baby which is from the most recent give me some more lip i love the nars lip pencils so i'm going to keep all of those Bite Beauty Glacé, I put this in my um, fall favorite lipsticks video. If you have my skin tone or darker, this is a gorgeous shade. A cool toned, really pretty. This leaves us with two. This Clinique um, Chubby Stick, I actually put this in my fall favorites video as well. So it's just a really moisturizing, but pigmented formula and it's I've had this for a while but I always go every fall I come back to this color oh my god so disappointed by this just the packaging I oh and it's so pigmented and beautiful but like look at it I mean look 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 I'm not even pressing down look I mean are you serious the pigmentation is there it's beautiful it's a little bit too pink leaning for me and I just Ugh, I've had it for almost a year and I just don't use it and I just need to give it away. The packaging drives me crazy. I'm just gonna let go and not, not look back. Like I said, I didn't get rid of too many lipsticks in all my other sections, but this is the liquid lipstick section, my last section and, and definitely my largest. So let's just get started. Um, I'll start with these two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Can was the one I had on my lips earlier. This is really running out. Like I've had this for so long. I'm I think I had this when I was in college. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is NYX Prague. I haven't had this for as long and it's a beautiful purple. It's it's just, I don't know how to explain the color. It's a very like fuchsia, magenta-y, I don't even know, but it's just so, so beautiful. I'm gonna keep that. Um, and then just onto another purple, this Kat Von D lipstick and the color K-Dub. This is one of the brightest colors that has ever actually looked good on my skin. Like, it looks terrifying. And when I swatched it, I was like, there's no way. But it actually looks really good on my skin tone and it's a fun, bright color. I'm gonna keep that. And then the other Kat Von D red lipstick. I love Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, so I'm gonna keep both of those. And my NYX Prog. Oh, I'm so picky about reds. I don't like either of these. This is the YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. I talked about this in my full review of the Give Me More Lip Set and I just don't like it. I It smells like, oh, it's just overpowering. And then this Bare Minerals little mini. I just don't use it, I don't need it. Ooh, these two Smashbox lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, the metallic ones in, 
Let's watch them. This one is in Exo Vlada. And oh my god, it's starting to dry up already. I'm gonna be, I'm so mad. I talked about this, I always talk about this and complain about this, is that the Smashbox lipsticks, Smashbox lipsticks dry up so freaking quickly. But look at the gorgeous colors. Look at them, they're so pretty. Um, but this one I've had for almost a year now and it's already starting to dry up. I don't use this color enough, so I'm gonna give this to my mom because I know she loves metallic colors like this. This one I'm gonna keep and try to use before it dries up and then hopefully never buy a Smashbox liquid lipstick again. For the record, I think their liquid lipsticks are incredible, like in terms of, of wear time and quality, like the, the liquid lipstick itself on is just one of the best formulas I've ever used. Um, but I just can't with that. If I'm gonna buy a lips, liquid lipstick, I don't want it to dry up in a few months. Let's move on to Too Faced. I have two of the melted mattes. This one is in Queen Bee. I swatched this in my Give Me Some More Lip video. And then this is Lady Balls, one of my favorite reds. I love the formula of these lipsticks and um, really, really gorgeous colors. Definitely keeping those. This is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the color Echo Park. I actually took the stopper out because I used the crap out of this. It's just really starting to dry up. It's beautiful, um, but I've had it for way too long. So this is gonna go. NYX Lip Lingerie. I did a video about how much I hated these. <laughs> these are actually the only two colors that I found had a decent formula, and I really like the colors, actually. Um, this one's Bedtime Flirt, and it's a beautiful nude. Look at that, so pretty. And then this one is called Exotic, and it's a gorgeous, um, kind of bricky, muted red. Really, really beautiful. I'm gonna keep both of these, but I would never buy another lip lingerie because I think I had to try out like four different ones to get these two that actually worked. Okay, so four liquid lipsticks. I love these. I also had this in my favorite fall lipsticks video, so I'm definitely keeping this. I lost my same one of this in number 13, Marvelous Mauve, which was my one of my favorite lip liquid lipsticks of all time, I think. They smell bearable, they last forever, the price is great. I love these, highly recommend. What a beauty. Oh, this is something I, on first impression, was like, whatever, and now I'm obsessed with it. And um, I've tried this on in many a video that I will link somewhere. Um, but love this, one of my favorites. I have two Stila liquid lipsticks, one in the color Perla and one in Caramello. And I'll swatch both of these, because I don't end up, I feel like I just don't use my Stila liquid lipsticks at all. This is that, like, that, um, like purpley, grige color that just does not look good on me because it's so cool. Um, and then Caramello is like a beautiful nude. But look at those, how pretty are those? I'm gonna keep the warmer color and I'll give this darker one to my aunt. I think she likes those kind of colors. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, and then I have Makeup Forever. Oh, I tried this on in that Give Me Some Nude Lip video and everyone was like, mm, I agree, it sucks. The color, the formula is great. It's number 105, but it's a greasy purple on me and I'm gonna give this away too. Look at that, look at how cool that is. It just looks so bad on me. Gonna get rid of that. And then I have Kat Von D um, Bow and Arrow, which I think I decluttered once before, but couldn't bear to get rid of. And that is just, ugh, another like super, it's such a pretty color, but like, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder, but it's such a pretty color. It just looks so bad on my skin tone if I'm not wearing tons of makeup. So this one, because I bought it full size and I'm mad about it, I'm gonna try it on again. If I don't like it, I'll give it to my aunt. And then the last but not least is this Anastasia lipstick, liquid lipstick, and uh, it's beautiful. It is quite dark though, but I'll try it out this fall and then we'll revisit later. Thank you so much for watching my video. This is all the lipsticks I decluttered. I think it's a decent amount. I could have done better, um, but hopefully eventually I'll come back with more lipsticks to declutter, but I think uh, this is a pretty decent amount just considering I haven't worn these um, and I will give these to a better home or recycle them. Please subscribe if you enjoy seeing videos just like this. I will link my other videos below and I got lip liquid lipstick all over me. I'm gonna leave before this gets messy. Hope to see you in my next video and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought.